guys this is Mysteria this is my sixth brewery vlog today is 16th September today I would like to show you this one um, can you guess? this is a package of Japanese rice cracker um, okaki in Japanese okaki or arare or if it comes more bigger one it comes osenbei and it's rice cracker okay. they are made from a sticky rice in Japanese mochigome um, you steam uh, sticky rice, then you like it. Um, let's say, uh, you grind and you like, it, um, <laughs> like you, how I say, um, knead. And it becomes uh, mochi, actually. Yeah. Firstly, to make okaki, the uh, rice cracker, you need to make mochi first, rice cake first. Then you uh, shape into the um, those uh, rice cracker shapes that you just cut, or uh, just cut, or you use the um, mold to make shapes and then you dry it then after that you fry it you deep fry it and then the tada rice cracker is there <laughs> yeah. and i like this company uh, company's name is ogura sanso uh, the rice cracker you can easily find this company's package in department store. Like it's it comes like this. So it's a little bit bigger. Ogura Sanso, when you search it, definitely I think all most of most of department store has it. This company is from Kyoto. This company is based in Kyoto. And uh, yeah, the Nagaoka, Nagaoka Kyo, where the capital was used to be. I just opened it. I really like this. It has, um, I think, six kinds of shaped of rice crackers I'm, I'm really not good at this opening sorry it comes like this so uh, it looks like more than six uh, what? Definitely, it's more than six or five, six. This is the I'm pretty sure seven and eight. And this Sirica girl is here, <laughs> so just do not eat it. So, um, so there are eight kind of uh, 
Se dice arare, so rice crackers. Um, so to briefly explain one by one, I actually don't know. Just, just I know the um, taste. That uh, let's start from the from the yeah, rift top. So this one uh, tastes so so sweet. Uh, um, sea dry seaweed. Can you see this block? It's it's, it's yeah. They, how I say, paint. <laughs> it's not paint, but like uh, put soy sauce both side, then they sprinkle seaweed. Yeah. It's salty and it has a uh, soy sauce, so has umami. Yeah. And this one, this is really thin. It's squash, squid, um, and it has dried seaweed again. It's, that it doesn't have soy sauce, so it's more um, so a little salty, but more you feel the taste of dried seaweed. It's how I say. Um, uh, I'm thinking about the word for kobashi. It's like a, not savory, but yeah, it's like more toasted. Hmm. And the next one is. Yeah, it's round and uh, has the uh, beans. So I think soybeans content. Ah, black soybeans, I guess. It's salty and has uh, <laughs> also beans. Also, a little bit nutty and um, toasted. I like this one too. And this sakura shaped. Is the um the cutest one? All of them are cute, but it's pink. Shaped cherry blossom. It actually comes from the shrimp color. So yes, it's tasted uh, like a shrimp. Toasted, crunchy. It's good too. I like. Well, I like all of them. And next one is the most normal one. Most, uh, how is it, ordinary one. Just fried and with salt. This is also good. Really simple, but uh, you don't get bored. Next one. This is, I think, the shape of the maple. Um, momiji in Japanese or kaede shape like that like uh, leaves which um, ah yeah I can I have the yeah this one Kyoto is actually really famous for its uh, color changed leaves in November so this is shape of the maple with uh, again she wished <laughs> it's more um has more stronger seaweed taste than others actually next one square and i like i think mm, maybe like this is a best like one of the best one square really thin but it has a yeah can you see it's um sugar 
that on it in Japanese? As you can imagine, it's、um, sweet but also salty. I like this one. It's crunchy, sweet, salty. It's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> Is that all you need? And the last one.、Um, I think、uh, it's the shape of leaf of acorn in Japanese. Acorn is donguri, I think, with black sesame. Yes. This is also good. And also, the soy sauce is put there. It has soy sauce too. So, I think I, why I like this is because they are beautiful. <laughs> Um, like it's be- yeah, beautiful, and um, um, I don't get bored with the taste. Like a r a r e the rice crackers,、um, usually salty and、uh, has the taste of soy sauce, but all well, but all these are tiny and h a s、um, a lot of different. Taste and also, what I like about this is actually, I <laughs> realized recently that it has a h a k u n i n issue, which is an anthol- anthology of a poet in Japanese, Waka, Japanese poet.、Um, Hakunin issue. So, in English, Hakunim means 100 people, and the issue means one poet. So, 100 people,、uh, one poet each. Also, this is、um, uh, the anthology of the, those po- Japanese poets, which are、uh, Fujiwara no Sadaie collected. The poet is like,、uh, I think, 13th century, it says, I, I think, in Wikipedia. <laughs> so, 700 years ago, it's created, and still we learn, we study it in school. And it says one of that poet. So, this is、uh, seven. Ah, I know this poet. So it says,、um, this, this is an old style writing, and this is a, the normal style. So, Amanohara, Furisake Mireba, Kasuganaru, Mikasa no Yamani, Ideshitsuki Kamo. They <laughs> people read like this, like、uh, it's karta. Um, some of you maybe know the Chihaya Furu, Chihaya Buru. I only read the n e x really few e p i s o d e but、uh, they do karta,、uh, card games that、uh, eh, and this is how I say, Go, Shichi, Go, Shichi, Shichi, yeah, okay. So,、um, Maybe I better do another day regarding the poet, but、uh, there is an upper sentence and a lower sentence. And、um, you read it. The,、um, maybe I better do another time. <laughs> I don't know how to explain, but、um, the reader r e a d the upper one. And、uh, the players search for lower one. So you needed to、uh, remember all p o e t Yeah, there is 100 of them. And、uh, you like, take. There is a card. Yeah, 
exactly like like this, but the separated the upper one and the lower one. The leader has the upper one, so well, leader has the upper and the lower one, but uh, we have the player has the lower one, so we put it and uh, try to uh, remember and take it. Yeah. I yeah I maybe I would like to do the video regarding introducing that. So back to the rice cracker. I actually have an order to eat. And I usually start with this one or this one. Like well I recently stick sorry. Start like this and eat that that and then that. Maybe like this. I go like. Do, 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 do. Why? Because I would like to start like plain ones. Actually, like those three, one of three. I start with that, and then I like this one, but uh, like uh, less like than others. And also that one too. I like the shape. That one too. I like shape and. Uh, those three has a different taste and strong, so I can uh, taste like more differently, and they don't like, they don't fight each other. Like when you eat like these or you know, with these two, like in row, the taste becomes like almost same. So I bring the normal one first, then stronger one or specific ones, then again back to normal one and again a little bit stronger taste. This has a strong seaweed taste, then sweet one and uh, back to normal one. I prefer to uh, put this one to later because I like to eat the my I like to eat favorite food later. <laughs> yeah. So, so those are uh, rice crackers from Ogura Sanso. If you find it in, if you are in Japan and you find it in the department store, please try it. And this tiny package has a eighth, eighth of. This one, so it's also the package is really beautiful. I think it's um, representing the Japanese fall seasons, sakura, cherry blossom, or spring. And uh, why is it summer? This one, summer. But this is a uh, uh, chrysanthemum, I think. In English it's for for summer I'm sure and uh, yes this is autumn for maple leaves and uh, the color changed month and also the moon and for winter the plum flowers it's beautiful so it's really good too good for spinning I will eat all of this later. <laughs> so, I think this is all for today. Um, thank you very much for coming and listening to my blue vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. So, um, see you later and have a nice day, nice evening, or good night.